Hi guys, welcome to this video of creating digital exercises with the book widgets add-on in Google Classroom. I'll be showing you how the new Google Classroom flow works and how you can create, share, grade and review student work, monitor your students' life when they're working on an exercise and return the graded work to your students. Let's dive right in with the first step, open book widgets with the Google Classroom add-on. First, choose a course in which you want to place a book widget exercise. Go to Classwork and click on the Create button. Then, choose to create an assignment. Here, you will find the book widget add-on by just clicking on the button Add-ons. Choose for book widgets and book widgets will open in a GIF. You're now ready for the next step, creating your first widgets. To create your first widget, you have to click on the green button, create new widget. You're now in the widget library. There are 40 templates of exercises here, so just choose the right one that you want to create, fill out with your own content and share with your students. We're going to create a worksheet widget. Just click on the template and give it a name. Then the next thing you have to do is add your question. In this particular template, there are 34 different question types and 29 of them get automatically graded. Just click on the questions you want to add and fill out the content. As every teacher teaches in a different way, there are still options you can enable or disable. You can enable submitting of answers or go to the general tab and take a look at all the other options here. Take a look at the correction options to decide if you want to show your students the correct answers when the quiz is done or not. Click preview to check out the design options here and see how this exercise looks like for your students when you're ready to share it. In step three, you're going to share your widget with your students. Just click on choose to choose this exercise and it will be automatically added to your assignment. It will take over the title and you can enter some instructions if necessary. You can also specify some other things on the site. And when you're done, just click on assign to add it to your classwork and the stream of your students. In step four, we're going to take a look at where and how students can find, fill in and submit the widget. First, your students choose the right course. In this case, it's a geography course. They can find a new assignment at the top of their stream or they can go to classwork where they can find the assignment as well. They just click on the assignment and to see what's in it, they click on view assignment. Here they can find some extra instructions and all the grades to be earned. They click on the assignment attached in your work and open it in book widgets. The student is automatically signed in inside the exercise. Now they can start answering the questions. I'm going to answer the questions real quick and of course include some errors. As a teacher, this might come in handy later on as I want to review my student work and also give comments on mistakes and maybe change some grades. When the student is done, they have to click on submit then click on Send and click on Turn In. Step number five is a step that happens the same time as your students are filling out your exercise. You can monitor your students' activity live as they fill out your widgets. Go to your assignment and click on it to go to the Live Widgets dashboard. Here you can follow up your students' life while they are working in your exercise. You can see the automatically graded questions and you can see how much progress your students make. You can also click on your student's name to see exactly what they are doing in your questions and if their answers are right or wrong. Close the individual student view to see an overview of all your students. You can see uh, their progress as well. And you can also see if they submitted their work or maybe forgot to hit the submit button. Live view also enables you to quickly find students that need extra challenges or need extra help. In this teacher view, you can also hit the edit button to make some changes in your widget. In step number six, it's time to take a look at your students' work. You can give feedback and return the work to your students. To review your student work, you click on your assignment and click on turned in or on view assignment. 
you come into this dashboard and you can see that all your students already got a grade. But you can also review your student work. Just click on the first student. Now you can start adding comments. So you can enter a summarizing comments and you can review the answers as well. So the right answers, the wrong answers and enter a comment below every single question. You can also add comments in your students' answers. So for example, when they make a spelling mistake. You can even override the automatically given grades and change them. In questions that don't get automatically graded, it's always handy to enter a comment in your students' answers, so your students know where the grades come from. And in the end, don't forget to add the grade. To make grading even easier and more efficient, you can use a filter and just hide all correct answers, which means that you can only see the answers that need your attention. Close this window to open up even more grading options. For example, grading question by question. The changes you make and the score gets automatically updated. You can also jump from one student to the other by using the arrows. When you're done grading, the only thing left to do is return the work inside Book Widgets. Hit the return button and then again a second time in Google Classroom. In the last step, I will show where students can view the corrected version of their work. They go to the assignment again and click on it. They can see their work is graded, so they click on View Assignment. Then they click on their work again. They now see the corrected version of the teacher. They can see their right answers and their mistakes. So that's it for the Google Classroom add-on. Keep in mind that if you're not an Education Plus Google Classroom school, you won't be able to use the add-on. In that case, you have to install the Book Widgets Chrome extension to your Chrome browser and you can use the plugin in another way. If you have more questions, just reach out to us via support at bookwidgets.com and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.